Welcome back. Today I want to look at the new Sortera app just released. Now this enables you to share your sources between different medias. So for example, I'm currently on the iPhone and I'm now syncing with my Sortero 6 on my PC. But you can do the same with a Mac or an Android phone and vice versa. Before you make a start, the app's free. You get 300 megabytes free to sync your sources between media. But after that, then you need to pay, but it's not a lot anyway. And if you're doing a four year degree, it could be really beneficial. In this case, I'm going to my PC. You can do this on the Mac as well. Edit preferences. Just make sure you're in the sync option and just make sure you sign up. Underneath here will be create free account option. Then once you sign in, click OK. Now you can come to your phone and download the app. And then type in Sortero for me at the top. And there it is. It's already installed, obviously, on my iPhone. And select to download. It's completely free. Once downloaded, open it up. I'm going to come back out of there. Go top right-hand corner. All you'll see is my library. The top right-hand corner, and then you can add your account at the top. So obviously, the same details you just filled in on your PC or Mac. And close. Now, let's have a look. I'm going to open up my library. Now, if you look at my app on my phone on the right, and then my Sortero 6 on my PC, you can see the folders are identical. Health and two subfolders, heart and lungs. Now this syncs automatically as you use it. So any sources you find via your PC or Mac will sync to your app and vice versa. So it's great for doing research when you're out and about with your app and then at home you can do research with your Sortero 6 on your Mac or PC. So if I come to my option here, lungs, as you can see, I've got one website in there. And you can see the source information on the right. So if I double tap it, it will bring up that website for me. So I can do the same now on my app. So I'm going to open up Lungs, open it up, and there's the website that I can access as well and close. Now there's another quick option I want to use on this. I'm going to open it up on the app. Say you are reading the source. I've got the NHS source here. And you find something you want to use. I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to copy it and then close it. Now I've got the source already in Sortero, but if I set the little eye information on the right, and then I come to the top right hand corner and select the edit button, I can scroll down and you can see I've got an option that says add note. Add a note, and I could paste that in there, the information that I might want to use at a later date. And again, you've got all your options in there to highlight here, if you wish as well, and click done and click save. Click OK, you're happy to save it and come out there. Now what I'm going to do is go to my Sortero 6 on my PC. I've got the option there as well, but now watch if I select notes and there's a note I've added as well. So I've synced it straight across and you can actually see on the app where I've actually added a note here as well. That's my first option. Now what I'm going to do is come out of the app I'm going to open up Google Scholar and do a bit of research. I typed in COPD for the lungs option. Uh, let's scroll down. I'm going to click on this link here. And if I scroll down, this gives me a source there and a PDF at the bottom. So I'm going to tap into this. So I might want to use this. Click at the bottom, depending on what phone you're on, and send it to your app. So I'm going to send it to Sortero. And then I'm going to choose the lung folder, which is already on. I'm also going to choose an item. Quality of life in the COPD patients. Tap on it. And at the bottom there, you can even add a tag. Now, this is really important. Bottom left-hand corner here, whatever tags you add there will display down here. So you can access that source later because you might be looking for specific sources. So I'm going to add that to, we've got the lungs option in there. No, so I'm just going to add a tag in there. There we go, and select save top right. Now select save to Sortero. What I'm here actually, I could also open up the journal that's accompanying it. And again at the bottom, I could send that also to Sortero. And again, choose which folder you want it in. 
lungs is fine. I'm not going to add a tag and select save to Sortera. So there you go. Close that and open up Sortera. I've now gathered some sources to work with. Now look on the left. Can you see it's automatically synced? So now I'm going to go back to my app, have a little look. So then let's go down to the quality of life in COPD. Click the little I. Tells me it's a journal. I've got my source information. Scroll down. If I click edit top right. Scroll down. I can add any information that might be missing. But I can also at the bottom add a note. So I might want to add an additional note in there. I've also got an option where I can even do an attachment and select cancel and come back out of there. But what I want to do is look at the journal. So let me tap on it. What I'm going to actually do is come to the left and open up the journal by double tapping it on my PC. So you can see it on both. Now you might be out and about and you find some source information you wish you want to highlight. Bottom left hand corner, select the highlighter and then choose a colour. I'm going to make that yellow. Then hold the left button and highlight what you want. And watch on the left in a minute, automatically sync and highlight that as well. I'm going to undo that highlighter. I'm going to come to the left and have a little look. I'm going to choose a different colour. Green. Turn the highlighter on. I'm going to highlight some more information. And there we go. Can you see on the left how it's coming up the highlights? But you notice on the left it's telling me what page I've actually highlighted as well. We can do the same with your app. Watch. Top left hand corner, click that little rectangle and it shows you what sources you've highlighted on your app as well. If I scroll up, there we go, page one, page two, and it color codes them for you as well. Also, while you're in a journal, go along a little bit more. There might be an image you want. There's an image there. Say you want to use that image. See the third option, tap on it, you can take a snapshot of it. Drag a rectangle around it. I missed a little bit there. But that will automatically, if I select the little button top left, scroll down, you can see it's appeared on the left of my app. But it will also appear in a minute. There you go. I'm on Sotero 6 on my PC. You can select them and then delete whatever you don't want there. But I don't want to do that, so I want to come back out of there and go back into the journal. There's another good little option, actually, that you can do. You might want something read back to you. So I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. Tap on where you want to read back from and then just highlight. So I'm going to highlight that. See the little speak button at the top? Select it for me. Days of analysis patients for the S. And that will then read back for you as well. Now, if you're having trouble reading the actual text as well, you've got a great option at the top that kind of simplifies it to standard fonts. So if I click the button at the top, and that makes it a lot easier to read as well for you. And come back out of there. Now the whole point of grabbing this highlighted information is you're syncing it to your PC which means then all those highlights here you can then put in a Word document and automatically cite and create your reference list form. If you look at my Sortero 6 video I've done a short video on that as well but today I'm concentrating on the app. Now top left hand corner click the arrow come back out of there. Anything you don't want you can just swipe from left to right. Or you can even change what folder you want to put it in here by tapping on it if you want to move it to a different folder as well. But I don't want to delete that because I want to go and grab another source. So let's go back to Safari. Click back up. Back up again. And I want to go down and see if I can find another source. I'm going to scroll down. What I'm actually looking for this time, Google Books, a different source to show you. I mean, you could use JSTOR, WorldCat, your internal libraries, whatever you want. Tap on Google Books. I'm just going to put COPD. Now, if you know about Google Books, it only gives you extracts from book pages. It's still a handy place to go. So I need something with a preview. Here we go. I'm going to open that up as a demonstration. Let's say you open this up and you find something you want. Again, go to the bottom. Send it to Sortero, so this time it's a book. I'll leave it in lungs, that's where I want it to go. Automatically identified at the top, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. And then I'll select save to Sortero. Close it, and let's see what it's grabbed. There it is. And I know it's a book because it's dark blue. You can see the image that indicates it's a book. Open it up, I've now got all the source information. 
and the abstract for that book. And if I come to the left, close that PDF, you see I've also got that book there as well. Click info and all the source information. So again, what we could do at the bottom, we've got the tag already. Now this is really important. Look bottom left hand corner on Sortero 6 on your PC. You can tap on it, those tags that I said about earlier, and access sources quickly and efficiently when you're looking for them at a later date. So I'm going to come out of that book. Now just click the little I to the right of the book and select edit top right. Again, scroll down. Because it was an online book and we couldn't really access it, what you could do is click add a note and you could type in there what page you might have been reading. Let's say it was page seven and then you could add a quote. You got it all stored and select done at the top and save. Click OK. Now if we come to Sortero 6 on your PC, we're still on the book option, select notes, and it should appear for you any second, and there it is. And that way you can then cite your work within a Word document. So there's various methods of dealing with different sources. Now they've got another great option on here as well. If I was to go to the bottom and keep my finger on that source, it brings up this little drop-down menu. So you can actually copy your citation and then your bibliography into a Word document to cite your work if you want. Now we can copy that citation and bibliography. We've got a problem. There's different reference styles. So tap off that for me. Top left hand corner, select back. Back to get to the beginning. Top right, select the settings option and come down and select cite for me. Have a look for your reference style there. If you can't find it, select at the bottom to get additional styles. I'm just going to pop in there as an example standard Harvard style site then right 11th edition and we're done close it so now I can go back into my library again remember the lungs folder keep my finger on the source that I want and I can now copy citation and there's a citation there just click copy top right I've got office 365 installed at the moment can't remember what my password is. I'm going to paste that in-text citation there for you. And then when you're citing your work, you can go back to Sortero. And remember, keep your finger on it. And then you can copy the bibliography now. And you can paste that into your Word documents and open up the note again. And that way, you create your in-text citation in a Word document or any document to be honest, and your reference list at the bottom, and click done. Open up Sortero. Any sources you don't want, you can just swipe to the left, change your folders, maybe you want to put it in a different folder, or you can even delete it with that option there, or even delete a folder if you so wish. Tap off it. I will show you one more thing. I'm going to go to my PC, I'm going to open up a website, I'm going to go to JSTOR, open that up, and I want to grab any source. So I'm going to stick this time, I'm going to put in heart this time. Now I'm going to select any source research report would do. Now I'm going to add this to Sortero. So as it's on a PC, if I come top right hand corner, I've got this little plugin, tap on it. And I want to make sure it goes into my heart folder by selecting heart and done. Let's have a look. See my heart folder here. So if I now come to my app, open up the heart folder and there it is sitting. So it works both ways. If I double tap it on my PC to bring it up. So it's just a quick, fast overview of using the Sortero app. There's a lot more to it, but it should get you up and running. Thanks for watching.